Happy Sabbath, wherever you are in the world. This is Lifestyle 360. We've got two people already watching. Wow, where are you watching from this morning? Michelle, good morning. Happy Sabbath. Good morning. Happy Sabbath. I'm doing excellent, Marlene. Awesome. I'm so happy for another day to be celebrating life and the Sabbath. Thank you, guys. Thank you for joining. We have four people on. Come Amen. on in. Come on in. Welcome, welcome. You know, there's a song that says, come on into the room. <laughs> come on, let's go. Y'all come. I th Actually, I think it's Tabitha Brown that sings that song. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so oh, come nice. on, guys. Come into the room as we share with you on yeah. prostate cancer. This is our Father's Day special. Um, yeah. You know, tomorrow the world celebrates Father's Day. And um, I think we should celebrate it every day. In the Bahamas, Michelle, mm -hmm. <laughs> guess what happens? In the Bahamas, uh, Father's Day is represented as crabs. So all over the streets, people are the vendors are selling crabs. Oh, really? oh, <laughs> so they say, yeah, that's how we know it's Father's Day because uh, on Father's Day, all they do is they give us crab. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, interesting. We're happy that you are here with us today. You, guys. We are grateful that you chose to join us today. And if okay. you will just do the favor of sharing the link, that's what mm -hmm. I'm going to do while Michelle brings greetings. I yeah. share the link on all of my platforms. So this little phone goes viral and worldwide, just sharing it with hundreds of people, just so we can get the message out to a hurting and dying mm -hmm. world. Yes, sir. Nice, 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 Marlene. So welcome, everyone. Let us know where you are joining us from. We're happy you're here. Thank you, Boniface from Rwanda. Thank you, Angelique. Happy Sabbath and greetings to you both. And I know it's in the afternoon there. We're so happy you came to join us. And we pray that you will be blessed by this presentation on prostate cancer. And I know, especially among African American Black descent, prostate cancer throughout the diaspora is rampant. I think also in Africa, there's a lot of Black male with prostate cancer. So it is really, really a plague in our communities. Mm -hmm. And um, I know so many people. It's, it's, mm -hmm. I know so many people here in the United States and in Jamaica. Um, so many men who have suffered, family members too, um, with prostate cancer. And so today we're going to share um, tips and things that you can do um, as a male or even as um, significant others that you can help your loved ones in how to take better care of the, the, the problem. So guys, thank you. Thank you. And Marlene, as Marlene shares. I'm just trying to send, yeah, I'm just trying to send the um, link out to as many groups as possible, you know, because there are so many people who don't realize we're on at this time. So I just like to, yeah. I just like to make sure that we at least share with as many, many groups as possible. So meanwhile, we just say thank you to our Rwandan um, family. I received word from their pastor this morning as I woke, I didn't have a chance to respond, but he may be watching. Good oh, morning, nice. Pastor. Yeah. And he says the people we need a lot of work and a lot of help down here in Rwanda. So Michelle, let's go to Rwanda. I'd love to go. Me and too. I would love to go. I'd love to come and be there in the in actually there, you know. It would be yeah. awesome to go and to um teach cooking classes and to teach the people how to to live and how to eat. It will be a wonderful experience, I'm sure. Absolutely. So, Absolutely. But in the meantime, I am the one that believes that we can go virtually and do virtually anything. Okay. So <laughs> as, as that stands, I mean, hey, that's what we do. We can do virtually. And I mean, that's why we have this virtual platform. 
um, so that we can go anywhere in the world, anywhere in the world. All right, awesome. So let's get started, I guess. I, I'm trying to make sure that I cover all of my areas. Happy Sabbath, happy Sabbath, Boniface, happy Sabbath, Sabbath, Angelique. And we are so happy to have you both watching and whoever else is watching, whoever yeah. else is watching. So if you know anyone that's suffering from prostate cancer or who may be suffering from having prostate issues, this definite, this show is definitely for you. Okay. This show is definitely for them. Um, sorry. Desiree. Desiree is yes, here. Happy Sabbath from Arizona. Nice. Uh, Arizona's in the house. Rwanda's in the house. Hello. Listen, share the link, share the link, share the link. Interesting topic today. Yes, ma'am. There are so many men who are dying from prostate cancer and there's no need. That's the beauty of it. There is no need. There is no need for mm -hmm. us to have um, persons dying from cancer. There's no need, Michelle. Can you imagine? No. And whatsoever. I, I have to turn my phone down. They don't realize I'm on live. They're asking me questions. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay, beautiful. So let's get moving. Let's get moving. We've got quite a number, of, quite a bit of information to share with you. I'd like to share the first one. How about it? Jeremiah awesome. 29, 11. I know the thoughts I think towards you, said the Lord. Thoughts of what? Peace and not of evil to give you an expected end. What do you think God's will is for men, for mankind? What do you think God's will is for us? He wants us to live. He wants us Absolutely. to live. But that is the expected end. He wants us not only to live here, but he wants us to live with him in the kingdom that he's gone to prepare for us. He says, I have gone to prepare a place for you. And if I go to prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you. So that expected end is that he's gone to prepare a beautiful home for us. And I want to be there. Do you want to be there? But listen, while we are living on this mad, crazy earth, he wants us to, to have health. As 3 John 2 says, beloved, I wish above all things I'm as prosperous and be in health, even as your soul prospers. So he wants us to be healthy. So listen, this topic may seem like it's for the man, but it's for the woman too, okay? So everyone, he wants all of us to be healthy. He wants all of us to um, claim those promises today. Yes. So, wow. So what is prostate cancer? What is it? It is one of the most common type of, of cancer in men. It is cancer that occurs in the prostate. The prostate gland is a small walnut-shaped gland that lies just below the bladder in men, and it produces this seminal fluid. So this is just for the men. Seminal fluid mixes with sperm from the testes and helps transport sperm, making ejaculation and conception possible. Prostate cancer is said to sometimes be a silent killer. Mm. because it grows so slowly in the early stages. Sometimes it lasts for years before it's discovered. The tumor in the prostate gland is not big enough to cause any discomfort, pain, or symptoms. So, so for many, many years, sometimes even a lifetime, some men can have it, but just never know because it grows slow, so slowly. Wow. Yeah. Wow, that's that's a, that's 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 really um, deep, Michelle. It is because um, you know I always thought of uh, heart disease as the silent killer, or the heart attack. You know, so now we're learning that this is also not yeah. every person who is diagnosed with this condition will experience any warning, any warning signs, or noticeable prostate cancer symptoms to alert them to a problem. This is exactly why experts feel that prostate cancer screening is so important and life-saving. Okay. So, <laughs> I know. Yes, go ahead. So there are two tests that, that can be done to find out. Um, actually, there are two screening. These are just screening. The only definitive test would be a biopsy. However, the first test is um, PSA levels that you can check. And it's PSA means prostate specific prostate specific antigen test. PSA is a protein made by the prostate gland. The elevated PSA levels 
in the blood may mean that you have prostate cancer. However, it's not really definitive proof of cancer. However, other issues with the prostate gland may also cause elevated PSA levels, such as benign prostatic hyperplasia or BPH, and that's like the enlargement of the prostate gland, or sometimes even certain medications like beta-methasone, which is a steroid that, can, that they use to prescribe for inflammation in the body, that can cause, and so that can cause an elevated PSA levels. Mm, wow, that's interesting. All right, yeah. so the next information here says that the next test, the next um, testing that you can do would be a digital rectal exam, okay? The digital rectal exam is a prostate exam. Most men will tell you no way, okay? No way. As a matter of fact, most men will say that's an exit only, <laughs> okay? So the DRE is a prostate exam. Your healthcare practitioner inserts a gloved lubricated finger into the rectum to feel the prostate for lumps, okay? So I know that I've heard men talk about this often. They're like, ain't no way. No man's going to put, I'm telling you, listen, if you're going to be practical, if you're going to be real, in this real practical world, these men are like, ain't no way, I'm not comfortable with that. You know, I'm, not, I'm just not comfortable. But we do know, we do know that this test actually helps to save lives, okay? So yeah. let's just keep going and see how God is going to continue to show us what we should do. Okay, so, however, it is not a guarantee that early detection and treatment will lower your risk of dying from prostate cancer. The benefits and harms of screening should be then discussed with your healthcare provider. So we're going to go into some of the benefits and the harm of mm -hmm. doing this screening. Amen. Uh, let's just welcome some more of our guests. Kalissa is saying this is a good lesson for today and tomorrow. Yes, ma'am. And she yeah. says, great explanation for definition um, of prostate. She's in Rwanda. Actually, yeah. the people of Rwanda, they said, when we initially started this program, Michelle, they said there was a lot of prostate cancer in their country. So mm, yeah. yes, they did. Yes, they did. Okay, beautiful. So prostate, the benefits of prostate cancer screening. Early detection and treatment before it spreads. That's with any cancer. It doesn't have to necessarily be prostate, breast sure. cancer, um, colon cancer, early detection. That's where we help it to minimize the spread. Based on your results of your PSA test, you will get a better understanding of your prostate cancer risk, relief, and peace of mind if your screening shows normal PSA levels. If your screening shows that you have prostate cancer, it's not a death sentence, praise God. Then mm -hmm. you can decide to have further testing done and monitor your PSA levels after treatment. So suppose your testing shows, yes, my numbers are way off the chart. Are you going to just consider it to be a death sentence and say, wow, I'm going to just die? What are you going to do? True. What, what will you do if you find yourself in a situation like that? What you do is you pray, first of all, you pray and ask God for guidance. That's what I would do. Yeah. If I were, you know, the Christian person I, I am being, I would say, Lord, please show me, direct my steps, give me wisdom, right? And then you're going to apply some treatments. And that's where we're heading this morning. Okay. Next, we're going to talk about the harms of that early screening. We talk about the good, and then we're going to just balance it off with the truth. The, um, sometimes the test can be false positive. And so, um, getting a pause, false positive stress, I mean, result may cause you undue stress. You might be worried and then you will have to then do further tests, which probably would be unnecessary naturally if it's false positive. So next you'll end up having to do a biopsy. And what that entails is that the doctor is going to remove some of the tissue and literally look under a microscope to see if there are cancer cells. Mm -hmm. And negative results of that biopsy may then, because you're doing it, you're actually doing the physical test, you're gonna be having pain, possibly fever, and blood in the semen, and possibly a urinary tract infection. So these mm -hmm. are some of the things that if you have to go on to do a biopsy, 
that's what's going to what it will end up happening so wow. yeah so here are some more symptoms do you have difficulty urinating men normally includes feeling a painful or burning sensation having trouble starting or maintaining a steady stream of urine and weak urinary sorry yeah weak urinary stream experiencing dribbling or leaking of urine more frequent need urge to urinate excessive urination at night or urinary retention not being able to urinate and i know my dad had a, um a prostate issue he never had prostate cancer but there was an enlargement you know prostate enlargement and i remember him complaining about some of these very symptoms okay sexual problems including erectile dysfunction difficulty having or keeping an erection painful ejaculation or a decrease in the amount of fluid ejaculation ejaculated sorry hematuria or blood in the urine or in the semen pain or stiffness in the pelvis lower back hips or thighs groin and rectum the enlarged inflamed prostate or a tumor may press against the nerve so listen to me men yes okay. yes i'm talking to my men this morning come on men listen if you're married you better stay tuned because you don't, you don't want you don't want to leave your wife to just what you want to do what you want to do keep the poor lady needs you okay she needs you and you need to um be able to function right we we know up there listen michelle the thing about it is we need to be able to function not just by providing financially for our wives and our family we, be, we need to be able to 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 function sexually too so True. if you're having some issues because you have chosen not to take care of yourself then sister what you gonna do you have to sit there praying and asking the lord to heal that man and make him not so stubborn amen amen that's stubborn so guys let's let's listen up let's tune in okay if you're not so already done so call a call a male friend and let them watch and listen to this morning's topic soul glow says good morning good yes, morning sir. soul glow and ishi mewa donata says nice topic so go also said my husband ate a vegan diet and took pumpkin seed oil that helped a lot Amen. so we're going to talk about that so thank you thank you for sharing yes. and welcome donatha we are so happy you're here Amen. And we're going to continue and um so next is causes and risk factors being over the age of 65 actually to it's actually over the age of 50. So mm -hmm. 65, the average age of diagnosis of prostate cancer in the United States is 69 years old. As a mm -hmm. man gets older, his chances of developing prostate cancer increases. So I'll say from 50 up. Hmm. Wow. So then every guy should be listening, in, especially those over 45. Yeah. 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 Listening at least for the symptoms. What are some of the other causes and risk factors? Exposure to certain toxic chemicals, including mm. Agent Orange, herbicides, and defoliant um, chemicals that has a history of use among the U.S. military, especially during the wow. Vietnam World War, um, the war, Vietnam War. Okay, yeah. so this was a this was a definite risk factor. All right, mm. so you may have had some exposure to these um, harmful toxins. All right, so. <laughs> Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm looking at even the herbicides, the fact that yes. our food, we yeah. need to, you then try to eat more organic. So we're going to talk about that too. The fact that the food, if it's heavily sprayed, imagine if you were in the military, having had exposure, then you're now daily getting, eating food that's highly toxic with herbicide. You're just increasing the amount in your system. So and we need to be doing our own garden, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. Especially now, especially with what's going on. Um, I mean, Marlene, and yesterday I went shopping and I was shocked. I mean, I, on some of the prices, like I'm just going to give you an example. Pine nuts used to be like, say, $12. Yesterday it was for $25 for a small bag of pine nuts. I was like, whoa, can you imagine? That's just mm -hmm. ridiculous. Like the prices are just out the roof. Actually, so, the prices here have gone up double. Everything has doubled. Can you imagine? Everything, and everything has doubled. I'm, I'm sure people's pay, they're not, they're, in, they're not getting an increase in their pay. 
like nope. that. Nope. <laughs> I, I haven't. <laughs> I own my own business. I haven't gotten in pieces in a long time. Matter of fact, I have, I have a hard time growing up on my prices. My customers look at me with a yep. cross eye like, what? You know, so it's very difficult. <laughs> it's, it's a typical it's, times. It's All right. so uh, it, yeah. are, is it me or are you me next? No, okay. yours is next. Go ahead. Okay. So let's continue. Other causes and risk factors. Men who have had a close relative with prostate cancer are twice as likely to develop the disease compared to those who don't. Being African-American or men of African descent are an estimated 73% more likely to mm. develop prostate cancer compared with white men. Mm. Obesity or being overweight. Certain studies have found that obese men have a greater risk of for developing aggressive aggressive form of prostate cancers wow wow so wow. african-american men we are more at risk 73 percent. that's high. high that's, that's high. super high it's super high Ooh. next one says that we should uh hold on i'm sorry about that thank you for sharing guys thank you okay great so it says um, causes and risk. We're still on the causes and the risk. I'm making sure I don't go too far because what happened was I'm using my other computer because I can't read the screen. It's too small for me, guys. So poor dietary habits, especially eating a highly processed diet. That includes refined, refined foods, trans fats, lots of added sugar and processed carbohydrates. These are the risk factors. Come on, people. These are the risk factors involved. There are also there also seems to be an association between a lack of vegetables in the diet. Do you know? Mm. That was the book that I received this morning from my pastor in Africa. He says, My people are not eating sufficient vegetables. I can read it exactly as he sent it. It's almost as though he wrote this script. Wow. Okay? Is there are also seems to be an association between a lack of vegetables in the diet, especially cruciferous vegetables like cauliflower, broccoli, those foods that are great in fighting cancer and a higher risk of aggressive prostate cancer. So there's a, there's, a, there's a correlation between the two. Low vegetables, especially the cruciferous ones, high prostate cancer. Okay, don't miss that point. Smoking, tobacco, and drug use. Lack of exercise, a sedentary lifestyle. Are you one to just sit all day at your desk? Yesterday I had the beautiful privilege of speaking to a group of retired almost retirees from the National Insurance Board here in the Bahamas. And I met some really nice people. And I said to them, the one thing you want to do, especially as you get older, you want to stay active. And if you weren't active in the first place, get active. Start with 150 minutes per week. 150 minutes. Just say, okay, I'm going to do 30 minutes a day. So if you do 30 times seven, how many? How, many, how much is that? Right? 30 times seven is 40. That's 140. So lack of exercise, low vitamin D levels. Vitamin D is having an issue in many of the ailments that we are mm. unfortunately from, um, faced with today. Get some sun. Vitamin, you know, the sunshine, sunshine is no, um, the sun is known as the vitamin D, um, uh, I guess what you call vitamin, okay? Yeah. Sun. We need to get some of that. We need to get some sun. If you are deficient to the place of, to the point that you need to subsidize or get some more in than you still need to get supplements. Get your supplements in, okay? So those are still causes and risk factors. Okay, to continue, I'm going over to me. Calcium excess. Calcium is association associated with increased prostate cancer risk. So men who consume 2,000 milligrams of calcium per day were 63% more likely to get prostate cancer than men who had less than 1,000 milligrams per day. Excessive intake of calcium will reduce vitamin D level. Mm -hmm. Avoid total cereal, which has calcium in the amount of 3,000 milligrams in mm -hmm. three cups. Um, so what's that limit? turn ultra what 400 milligrams of calcium mm -hmm. per day that tablet so you should do about 400 mm -hmm. milligrams per day but that cereal total if you know that you're familiar that just has too many um calcium in it you need to not eat that cereal that's 
That's the Tums, Michelle. You know Tums? Oh, the Tums. I was, those I was a Tums addict. I was a Tums. Listen. Oh, when I was pregnant for indigestion, yes. I didn't realize. Yes, Tums are like. Yes, cool. yes, you know, yes, it was yes, very yes, addictive. Yes, you know, because it, you have that indigestion. But I spoke about that too. We talk about that all the time. The fact is, we don't need Tums. All we need to do is what? Yeah. What we need to do? All we need to do is just eat properly. We won't need. We don't have no need for Tums. All right. Our yes. next one I'm says, too. <laughs> uh, say it again. Constipating because it's straight up, like calcium. what you call, yeah, it's straight up, what do you call it, that mineral calcium carbonate, or mm -hmm. it's just straight up white, white, I, for, I forgot what it's called. Almost like a chalky kind of a. Chalk, is that, yeah, it's, it's yeah. not good. Yeah. All right, causes and, pros, causes and risk factors. Prostatitis is inflammation of the prostate gland. It is caused by infectious bacteria that invade the prostate from another area of the body. That would be the bladder, hormonal changes, and urine retention. This is where the prostatitis, the inflammation of the prostate comes from, all right? So we don't need to be retaining fluids. We need to make sure that we're getting to the bathroom as soon as we can. Okay, so here are some natural ways to ease prostate cancer symptoms. One, stop eating all flesh foods as well as their byproducts. Fish, chicken, meat, pork, and all crustaceans. So that's your shrimp, lobster, crab, prawns, your mollusks, um, what else? Uh, oysters, all of them. The shell, is it shellfish? Any shellfish. Um, in, the, in, the Baham, in the Bahamas, that's the conch. Conch, that was, yeah, that's popular. Child, yeah. listen, you don't get into people play because tomorrow is a big Father's Day celebration here in this country. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and on the streets of my country right now, all you see is crab. Uh, crab. Some crab. Yeah. All the crabs are walking right now. Listen, leave that crab in the swamp where he's at. It's Doing nasty. It. God made it as a scavenger to clean the earth. And we are putting it in our system. Do you know what's happening when it gets into our system? We're killing ourselves. We're Absolutely. killing ourselves with our teeth. Yeah. How Don't do we how do we touch that compass? How do we touch such poison? Oh boy. So that's one of the first things we want to do. Get rid of those things. Praise yeah. the Lord. I'm just gonna reiterate it. Get rid of it. Soul <laughs> soul glow says, eat right. Eat right. Oh, eat right, eat right. people. Eat right. All right. I love it. I love it. Okay, so great. no eggs, no cheese, uh -huh. no milk. No. Nope. Studies show that these items increase the risk of prostate cancer. Avoid the use of cow's milk. If one so desires to use milk, there are many non-harmful milks that you can make using nuts. So you don't need to be consuming cow's milk. The thing you about it, they're bottom feeders. I love it. Who is yeah, so, so good? Who are you? God <laughs> said not to eat bottom feeders and pork. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Listen. We shouldn't be eating those things. No. Those are scavengers. scavengers. These things are scavengers. They clean the earth. They so were placed there for a purpose. purpose. Not for us to eat. But, you know? but we, we want to eat these things. Why? When God has given us clear instructions. The fact is, we don't even go. Science is now catching up with what the Bible said years ago. From, from, from creation. <laughs> From creation, from creation, we have been taught how we should be eating, okay? Um, but we know what I'm noticing here, Michelle, most of what you just mentioned is high in fat. And we do know. High in mercury, mercury. High in fat, high in mercury. Yeah. All right. Cholesterol causing. Amen. Okay, very good. Next slide says... Natural ways to ease prostate cancer symptoms, avoid spicy foods. Yesterday, I was sharing with the group. I said, peppers are bad. Oh, listen, the whole room went quiet. What, do you, what, do you, what, did, what did you just say? I said, peppers are bad. No, no, no. Come on, Miss McKinney, come on. I said, peppers are bad. Which pepper? I was told pepper was excellent. So for those of you who thought pepper was excellent, know today. Pepper is bad. We should avoid peppers. 
That would be the black pepper, the white pepper, whichever color pepper you want to call it, peppers. Cayenne pepper has its place, and we shouldn't be using it every day, even though I could tell right. you we do That's use right. it, but it has its place. It, it has its place. We use it for medicinal purposes, right? But the hot peppers, the nutmeg, the cinnamon, the clove, these are the irritants. These irritants are stripping our bodies and aging our bodies and leading to all kinds of problems and inflammation throughout our system. Fried food. Tell me if us love fried food. Huh? I hate it. I don't. I don't. I'm just raising my hand for you. I don't like fried foods. I don't. I really don't. Fried foods, highly processed foods, and all free oils should be eliminated and or avoided from the diet. The free use of oils. So, so glow stage, they didn't know that the um the spices, the hot peppers were something that we should be avoiding. We should be avoiding it. They're irritants. Yeah. They yeah. irritate the lighting of the stomach. It irritates. It leads to hemorrhaging. Leads to hemorrhaging, okay? Stomach um, And ulcers, exactly. Uh, so the free use of oil. So how would we get, how would we be using the free use of oils? When I think of the free use of oils, I'm thinking of um maybe even in our salad dressings. Yeah. So you should probably try to look for an oil-free salad dressing. Maybe I have to do some of those on our site. I'm sure Michelle has quite a number. You can take the avocado and make the most delicious salad dressing. Yeah. You can take the tofu and make a nice salad dressing. You can take your, your nuts and make a nice salad dressing, a creamy yeah. ranch dressing from the cashews or whatever. Oil-free. Yeah. Oil-free. Oil -free. See, these foods have their oils in there. It wasn't taken Not away true. from. Right? It's naturally occurring. So then what else you want to avoid? You want to substitute your olive oil and your substitute olive oil for corn oil and margarine. So you can use a little of the olive oil, but try to stay away from the others. Avoid all white bread. And I say all. There again, yesterday they were like, well, we don't buy white bread, Ms. McKinney. I said, praise the Lord. No one in the group. I was really impressed. Oh, with you. It takes one. Listen, it takes five slices of whole grain bread to give you. No, it takes five slices of white bread to give you what one slice of whole green bread would give you. Mm. Five slices of I whole one, white bread just to give you what one slice of whole green bread has. Imagine. Imagine that. So this is not just, like I said, the program today may seem like it's for the prostate guy, but it's for the Very cancer person. It's for the high blood pressure person. person. It's for the high diabetic person. It's for the weight loss person. Whoever it is, this program is for you because the same information basically for everybody. It's a light. I'm going to get some specific herbs that are for specifically for our husbands, our our sons, and our right. whoever a significant other. But the basic information is for everyone. What else you want to avoid? White bread, flour, white flour, sugar, and all so and and so forth should be eliminated from a diet. The body needs the fiber from the whole grains, like the wheat germ, the brown rice, the buckwheat, the millet. These are the things that we need to be eating more of. The spelt, those are the grains that we want to be including more so in our diet. Okay, great. So what you're going to do is consume fruits and vegetables. Fruits and vegetables are your friend. They have antioxidants, vitamins, phytochemicals. I mean, thousands of phytochemicals. They are anti-carcinogenic. Oranges, your grapefruit, your apples, pineapples, grapes, guavas, kiwi, blackberry, strawberry, pomegranates, straw again, strawberries, elderberries, mangoes, figs, grapes, olives, and bell peppers. These are fresh fruits that you can just eat in abundance. Hmm. Even wow. better if you could pick them from the tree. Pick Amen. <laughs> Amen. You see that you see that platter, Michelle? The fruit platter I have on the picture. Nice. That was my that was my birthday cake from my my staff. Oh wow, nice. <laughs> so yeah. I don't eat sugar. So they decided to make me a beautiful. Well, oh, is it beautiful? Gorgeous. I love. I thought cake. I had to just use it. I had to. I was like, wow. When I saw it, I said, that's for me. They said, yes, because you don't eat cake. I said, I don't. I only eat cake if it's sugar free. You know. <laughs> but that was my cake, and I just was like, wow. It, the, everything on there tasted so good. It was amazing. All right. Mm -hmm. Thank you to my staff if I didn't say thank you already, but I know I did. I'm just teasing. So those are the things we want to eat more of. And I love me some fruit. Matter of fact, on my table right here, I have some native mango. So guys, mm -hmm. go and get yourself some native mango if you live in a country that you can get them easily. 
What else do you want to have? Vegetables, vegetables. Add the red beets, the carrots, the spinach, the kale, right? Yeah. Collard greens and cruciferous vegetables. The cruciferous coming up again. Cauliflower, radish, cabbage, um, um, broccoli. These are the cruciferous vegetables, radishes. These are best known for their cancer preventing properties. That's why they're called cruciferous, right? They fight mm -hmm. cancer. However, you should use kelp along with these items to maintain iodine levels to protect the thyroid gland as well as the pink Himalayan salt, okay? And if you can't get the pink Himalayan salt and you live in the Bahamas, you just can get it for free on the island where my mom's from, a ragged island. It's free. It's just there on the seafront. It's there. I went to the island and my mom said, there goes salt. I couldn't believe it. Imagine God has all these things trapped right in some of our little countries, right? Um, you can get it also in, in, in Nagua. You know, I'm just, I'm just saying, if you can't afford to get the Himalayan salt, you can get the local salt that's produced here in our country. Uh, and sea vegetables too. You can get other sea vegetables. Not, that's I mean, kelp is good too, but also eating nori or dolls or wakame or combo. They all help as well. Sea vegetables. Amen. Someone's asking for an explanation on cinnamon. Edward. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. The, the fact that research studies have been done to show that if you overeat or consume a lot of um, cinnamon, it does irritate the stomach. It causes indig indigestion. And if you even test it on your own body, get up every day eating um, a, a dessert or use it in your food every day, you can sometimes, if you're tuned into your body, know that it causes stomach upset. So it mm -hmm. is irritating on the lining because it is so strong. It does have good benefits, you know, like lowering blood sugar. However, uh, you could end up lowering your blood sugar, but end up with an ulcer. So, you know, what you could do is eliminate that and do other things that are good for lowering your blood sugar, like fenugreek. So instead of using cinnamon in your curry, Take the cinnamon out and use fenugreek because fenugreek is good for lowering your blood sugar. So you're going to get best, the best of both worlds. So some of these spices, there's always going to be an alternative. So in your sweet, you're going to use coriander with cardamom. Cardamom mm -hmm. is excellent. It doesn't leave that irritation on the lining of your stomach. It's actually good for digestion. So that's why we say that. I know the popular thing is to say cinnamon is good, but... It's like the same thing. We go on to green tea. It's like wine. Wine, we know drinking wine mm -hmm. is, is not actual wine. It can cause you to end up becoming an alcoholic and beat up your wife and beat up your kids. So guess what? Don't mm -hmm. drink the wine. We say drink the grape juice. Go back to the origin. Go to the grape. Eat the grapes. Mm -hmm. Instead of drinking the wine, you're going to get the resveratrol from the grapes. Mm -hmm. Same idea. Wow. But you know, we can have a great debate about that, right? Because so many people are like, well, I'm just going to just have a little wine. I think people just want the excuse of having a little wine. Don't you agree? I agree. I agree. <laughs> yes, I agree. All right. Good stuff. So the next slide, go on, Michelle. Oh, that's me. Okay, I'm coming. Let's have Let me go the to the screen, the bigger screen. So um, soybeans. Did I do turmeric, Martin? Turmeric? No, turmeric. You're on turmeric. Okay, turmeric. Okay, so... Turmeric, the curcumin or the orange pigment in turmeric has the most anti-inflammatory activity effect on the body. It reduces inflammation, inhibits proliferation of tumor cells, induces cancer cells, self-destruction or apoptosis, and discourages growth of blood vessels that feed the tumors and literally cut off the supply to that tumor and let the tumor self-destruct. Turmeric mm. is so powerful. And when I was growing up in Jamaica, Marley, I mm. used to go visit my Aunt May down in the countryside for mm -hmm. the summers. And when mm. you look, we'd go to where we go pick fruits. There will be an area that will pick fruits. And underneath the like there will be like cocoa and mangoes wild but below wow. there will be turmeric 
like fields of turmeric, Marlene. Fields of turmeric oh. growing wild. So wow. yes, yes, abundant. So turmeric is very good. And in cultures that eat turmeric every day, mm -hmm. they mm -hmm. find that they, they don't have much arthritic condition or inflammation in those countries. Mm -hmm. with arthritis like in india they eat turmeric almost every single day in their diet wow we need to do we need to start doing the same thing matter yeah. of fact you know i have a little inflammation going on one of my joints and the other day i was having a piece of lasagna from my shop i just sprinkled the turmeric right on top my little grandniece was like ew i said it doesn't have any taste like that it tastes it was fine so i gotta remember to keep adding it to my food so i can get rid of any, any inflammation in the body any inflammation right. Right. at all so what about the, the use of soy? You know, soy has gotten such a bad rep. It's so, so sad, right? Um, to me, it's just sad that soy would have gotten such a bad rep when other foods really should have the bad reputation. I could think of many of them, right? Yeah. But the soybean, because sometimes these like big coffee. meat industries, they, they attack the soy because they're trying to beef up, pun intended, their industry, all right? So the use of organic soy, though, you want it to be organic, non-genetically modified, is it can inhibit the start or the spread of cancer. Isoflavones is found in soybeans, soy milk, soy extracts can help oppose cancer production. The genistein in the soybeans can have powerfully aid in blocking the spread of prostate cancer. A little soy. So if you don't have any soy in your diet today, start a little. Try having a little. Add a little to your diet today. A little will prevent it. None will promote it. Don't miss that. I went to a cancer training in Switzerland about two and a half, three years ago with Dr. Maimon Wilson, who happens to be one of our number one um, cancer experts within our church. And I joined him on that trip so that I could learn. And while there, that was one of the things I will never forget. For anyone that's battling cancer today, unless it's estrogen driven, like a breast cancer, soy, a little, can go a long way in saving your very life. So let's start today getting it. You have a glass of milk, hello? Glass mm -hmm. of soy milk and coffee? You could just have the, a little scrambled soy, um, to, um, scrambled tofu, something, add it to your diet, you know? You can get the soybeans and do stuff with it also. All right. Okay. Eat on schedule. All meals should be eaten on a regular schedule, seven days a week, with no more than a 30 minute time difference in schedule. Meals should be eaten five to six hours apart. So nothing in between the meal, only water or herbal tea that's unsweetened at least eight glasses or 64 ounces of water should be drunk each day 16 ounces to 32 ounces of warm water should be taken before breakfast warm and you could squeeze lemon in that warm water i mean water should be taken 15 to 30 minutes before meals or two hours after meals why you want to make sure you're not diluting the digestive enzymes you're eating you're going to chew your food properly so don't you know <laughs> my assistant asked me the other day michelle so why don't you drink and eat i and i said well because you don't want to dilute the digestive enzymes and then he said to me but you might choke i said to him not if you're chewing your food properly <laughs> oh i said chew and chew and chew <laughs> and then probably we're choking because we ate too much or something <laughs> or you no know, i know a lot of times michelle people drink with their food because the food is too spicy that's it true be too spicy or it may just be a little dry but if you take your time and chew you should be we should be okay we should be okay <laughs> it's nice i like that lifestyle treatment lifestyle treatment Exercise. Y'all know I love to talk about exercise. Yesterday, 
<laughs> Yesterday at my group, they said, I said, I love exercise. They said, we can tell because you got too much energy for us. <laughs> One of the ladies just said, go home and get some rest because you must be tired. You got to be tired. I said, did I look tired? Maybe I looked tired. <laughs> but exercise is life. It's essential to good health. You should walk for one or two hours every day, seven days per week, every day, okay? Go to bed by at least before 10. The body heals itself between the hours of 10 p.m. and 12 a.m. Don't miss that. Healing comes between 10 and 12. So if you're up playing video games, if you're up on your computer, if you're up watching Barnaby Jones, if you're up, I mean, I'm I'm repeating what I heard yesterday. No joke. This is what I heard yesterday. If you're up um, cleaning, if you're up on the phone, if you're up because you just can't sleep, between the hours of 10 and 12, then there's no healing. Healing can't take place. No. Okay? The body also produces melatonin. I told them that yesterday. Between the hours of 10 and 2 a.m., which gives the body restful sleep at night in addition to it is a natural antioxidant that helps to prevent cancer powerful powerful sleep is so important mm -hmm. for healing yes yes mm -hmm. okay next is lose weight obese men with bmi above 30 were 2.6 times more likely to die from prostate cancer than normal weight men so weight reduction is important. This was based on one, weight one year before diagnosis of cancer. So one year before the person was diagnosed, um, the BMI was elevated. So uh, avoid prolonged heat to the prostate. This can be prevented by not sitting for long hours on padded seat. So you don't want, you want that area to be cool and not overheat. So sometimes even wearing tight briefs, tight fitting clothes down there can draw too much heat there. And you need to avoid horseback riding, motor, motorcycles, and bike riding. The jerking or bouncing of these activities can irritate the prostate gland. Mm. So you're going to protect down there. Mm. Very important, huh? Yeah. Very, very important. Um, especially the tight wearing of the pants, guys. Come on. Okay. Uh, okay. Let's get those tight pants off. You're not a, you know, even women shouldn't wear tight pants, but you're not a girl. <laughs> that's, just, that's just a side note. You know, yeah. I, I want to say a whole lot about that uh, without offending. But when I see these guys in these tight fitting pants, man, it just does something to me. I look. I, I literally take a second look, and not because you look good either. Okay, I ain't doing it because you look good. I'm just saying it's just not. It's not fitting. Men should not be in those tight clothes. It's not fitting. So you need to check to see who designed that wear that you're wearing. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's all I got to say. Our next slide: avoid masturbation. Mm -hmm. I said it. Avoid masturbating. <laughs> you know. A lot of times men are embarrassed to talk about that. We are embarrassed generally to even say that word. As a child growing up, I don't even know if I ever knew that word, masturbation, you know, but we call it self-abuse. Um, avoid sexual activity or stimulation of any kind during treatment period. This disrupts the restoration or the restorative process. Um <laughs> Men don't look good in tight pants. Thank you so much. Men don't look good in tight pants. It's simple. We don't. They, they don't. You know, they put on these tight pants. They, they think they look so good. No, you're getting the, the attention of, of, of another man probably. But no, it's not good. It's not good. And then, and, and then think of the jewels that you're protecting, right? I call them jewels. Them, the precious yeah. jewels. And you yeah. have them all tied up, restricted, and hot. Come mm. on. Take off those tight pants. Especially the fact that most of the clothes they're wearing are plastic. They're mm. not breathable. <laughs> if it's not if it's not even cotton, most of the time it's plastic pants, plastic material. So <laughs> they, it's bad. I want to talk about the masturbation because I think that many men and women think it's okay. 
Right. Um, yeah, they do. I, I, I've spoken to so many, so many young men and old alike, and they see nothing wrong with masturbating. But you know, masturbation is actually, it's not, it's not, it's not healthy. It's unhealthy. One, of course, we already know it leads to prostate cancer. That's one of the things we need or to stop. Right? Premature ejaculation. I was gonna go, yeah, that was, that's where I was going. Premature ejaculation. So when you actually do have a lady in your life, your wife, your wife, <laughs> right? Unfortunately, the poor lady lays there, and you have you you didn't come long time. Oh, mercy. long time, this long is time, so Michelle. We this is real. This is, this is a real fact. And the poor lady is laying there, feeling so unfulfilled and it's so unkind. Selfish. Young men, sounds selfish, ain't it, Marley? Selfishness. Selfish. Stop doing it today. I, I I don't know if it was true, but I might read somewhere that it leads to blindness. I think I read that in one of our writings, Sister White's writings. It leads yeah. to blindness. Yeah. Well, so, well, well. <laughs> What happens? Tell me. No, I'm just going to say secular people will use that to taunt her writing to say, oh, she said it does. However, you never know if people go yeah. to do a study yeah. and see. I you know. never know. You just right. never, who's done the, right. the study? Who's, who's, done to say, who's to say why the man is blind? Who's to <laughs> know? But at I least, know. but the, the thing is, there are many wives who are now having husbands who are having premature ejaculation, they yeah. probably can come and attest to the fact that yes. masturbation may have been the issue that, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Yes. If they uh -huh. and they mean, Because it's such a touchy um, topic though, not very many women will come out and talk about it. You know? We suffer I, in silence. Yeah, we, 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 we suffer in silence. That's right, yeah. So, you know, I'm just saying guys, stop doing it. It's not healthy, it's unhealthy. And leads to problems later on in life. I'm talking about to young and old alike. You can, as a matter of fact, there's a deep study on of, of masturbation. Uh, there again, I read it in um, one of my favorite prayer books. I think it was. Yeah, there's a deep study on who is it that you're actually masturbating with. There's a oh, deep study. On it. It's deep. It's the demons. It's, it talks about actually that you're having sex with demons. Yeah, it's deep, 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 deep. We won't go there today. I already said too much already. All right, let's move on. <laughs> Is it B Marley? Yes. Hold on, hold on. I'm getting going over. Reducing the cholesterol levels. Okay, I'm going to. Okay. I have to look at a bigger screen as well. So reduce cholesterol level. Studies show a connection with high cholesterol levels and prostate disorders and an accumulation in enlarged or cancerous prostates. Increase fluid intake in order to flush the kidneys and bladder of toxins and bacteria. Drink at least 48 ounces of water daily, but no fluids after when? 7 p.m. Do not let the bladder become too full. Urinate as quickly as possible when the urge comes. Try to completely empty the bladder each time as pressure build up from retaining urine can from you i mean because retaining urine can damage them so you mm. don't want to you know sometimes people hold or you're you know you're holding that urine and you want to go and you don't be holding the urine it can cause problems later on guys mm. don't hold people do have a tendency they're busy doing something they're working they're like i can hold it no and mm. also to see how much um, water you need to drink is what? Half your body weight in ounces. Yeah, yeah. half your body weight in ounces. So do the calculations. Get your body yeah. weight divided by uh, half your body weight first, divided by two, then divided by eight. And they will tell you how many glasses of water you actually need per day. All right. So herbal recommendations. Herbal recommendations. Here's the thing. I want to say this before I even talk about herbal recommendations. Here's the thing. Disclaimer too. People come to you and say, well, Marlene, I have this issue. I, I had a guy that came to my kitchen. I hope he's watching today. I couldn't remember his full name, but I'm hoping that he caught um, the broadcast. He says, I have a little prostate cancer, you know? And he says, what should I do? I'm so quick, as a, a mom, my mom would do, so quick to give these herbal recommendations. When fact is, fact is, if we were to just get our lifestyle in order, Eating right, getting the exercise, getting the fresh air, getting the sunlight. Then most times we don't need as much as the herbal recommendations. Isn't it true? 
if we would just get it in check, you know? But there are some supplements that have proven to work. And I've recommended these over and over and over again as a um, natural um, lifestyle educator. Saw palmetto. Do you see this, the, the palm tree in the picture? I know it's really small, but that's where it comes from. The heart of the, 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 the isn't it the trunk or something, Michelle? That's what I was, the, yeah. palm, the palm is a palm. In the palm, the saw palmetto. Um, that's something, and I don't tell you go and harvest your own. Okay. You know how to do it. Huh? Say it again. Very popular. Sapo Melto is very, very popular. popular. in South Carolina, especially. Very popular. The Pigeum, Pigeum, African yeah. Pigeum skull, um, with lycopene, two tablets daily. I don't want to tell you how much to take, but this is, I'm going to give you the recommendations, okay? If you'd like to have today's slide, just email us or WhatsApp us or reach out to us and we'll send it to you. Saw palmetto, African pigeon, we have the garlanase, pumpkin seeds, blackstrap molasses. These are supplements. These are some herbal recommendations that has proven to help persons with prostate issues over the years. My dad took the saw palmetto. I recommend it all day long to people. A handful of pumpkin seeds. You can't go wrong. Just start today. If you have more to share, keep on watching and keep on listening. Also, we are here just not to override what your doctors are saying. Mm -hmm. So you need to consult them first. We're just protecting ourselves. Yes. <laughs> yes. Um, and do your own research. Um, also, other herbal rec recommendations are 100% cranberry juice, not the one with the, the juice cocktail, because that's high in sugar. If you can get hold of 100% cranberry juice, it's actually better. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying the other one won't work, but you're dealing with all that sugar mm -hmm. excess. It protects um, from urinary tract infections and all that. Less lecithin, granules, you dissolve fat, diabetes is good for high blood pressure, cholesterol, one to two tablets daily. And you can find lecithin granules in the health food stores, online, they're there. Mm -hmm. Flaxseed two tablespoons daily, and you need to freshly ground them. So you need to buy the whole flax seeds, and then you take a portion, grind, leave it in the refrigerator for like two to three days. Then you keep making freshly ground ones. Wheat germ as well, two tablespoons daily with meals, tahini mm -hmm. butter, and this is where your sesame comes in. It's high in mm -hmm. calcium too, two tablespoons daily with meals, turmeric capsules, two capsules, taken twice daily or turmeric tea two tablespoons of the um turmeric um i guess powder powdered grip turmeric in mm -hmm. four cups of water you can use pieces you can grate as well the turmeric you can grate the turmeric if you amen. buy it. amen amen our next herbal recommendation will be stinging nettle have you heard of it before two tablespoons daily in 32 ounces of hot water steep for 40 minutes to three hours and drink as water. So you're not adding sugar. Once you add sugar, it becomes a food. It defeats the whole purpose of the treatment. Stinging nettle, any tea, any tea that we are recommending now, any herb that you can make in tea form, always drink it as water. In other words, do not add sugar. And that goes for any of us, not just for, for the prostate cancer person or prostate issues. It goes for anybody that's having tea. Corn silk. That's why I have the corn there. You can go to the market, get some corn, and you get the benefit of both. You get the corn to eat, and you have the silk hairs, the beautiful golden hairs that are hanging from that picture that I have there. You pull those corn silks off, the hairs off, bag them, put them in the refrigerator, always have them. Take two tablespoons, in other words, probably one corn. You take the hairs off, steep it in 32 ounces of water for about 40 minutes on up to three hours, and you drink it as water. Parsley. Flat leaf, two tablespoons in 32 ounces of hot water for 40 minutes to three hours, and you drink it like water. So long as you don't add sugar to any of your teas, it is considered water. All right? Just Absolutely. keep that in mind. So you want to start doing this treatment today. Remember, like we said earlier, these are just recommendations. Any changes you plan to make with your diet and lifestyle, you should always, always check your physician first. Okay. Vitamin D sunlight. Okay, so 
daily exposure to sunlight is beneficial for the body to make vitamin D. For lighter skinned individuals, 10 to 15 minutes daily will be sufficient, whereas for darker skinned individuals, 45 minutes to one and a half hours daily is required between the hours of 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. when the UVB rays is at the highest. According to several studies, sunlight has a direct effect on lowering prostate cancer, also blood pressure too. So there's so many benefits of sunlight. Yeah. Vitamin D. Vitamin D, yeah. The yeah. Vitamin D is very important. But we don't get enough. We don't get enough. Yesterday, as I left my, my, I went out to do a presentation, like I said, it was so hot out there. All I, I couldn't wait to get inside. <laughs> But you know, yeah. there again, you don't want to do the high heat. You want to do early morning, late afternoon. That's probably the best time to get in your sun. And so you get your vitamin D. Um, and then I like to always share with people because sometimes we don't know. But that the biggest part of your skin, the back, well, other areas too, but the back, if you just lie and do a little sunbathing for about 15 to 20 minutes, maybe a little longer if you can tolerate it, you get lots of vitamin D that way. Otherwise, yeah. you've got to supplement, especially for persons who are living where? Yeah, in the yeah, anywhere north, in the up north. Exactly, exactly. Mm -hmm. So come and let us return unto the Lord, for he hath torn, and he will do what? He will heal us. Heal us. Yes. What a promise. And he will bind us up. Listen, listen here, people. Today, I come asking for healing. Don't you? We should all come asking for healing. This information today, like I said, even though the most of the majority of it was for our men, it's for us too as women. Okay. We want that healing from God. He says, come, come, turn unto the Lord. That's where healing is. That's where physical healing is. That's where spiritual healing is. That's where emotional healing is. That's where healing comes from. It comes from God, our creator. He made us. He says, I will heal you. Amen? Amen? Amen. Now, do you have questions or concerns that we can answer for you today? Michelle and I will stay tuned for the next few moments. If you have any questions as medical missionaries and lifestyle educators, we are happy to come to you wherever you are, in your home, in your car, at work. I don't know where you are, wherever you are, you may have some questions. You may have some concerns. If we can help you with any of that at this time, we open the floor for questions. So go ahead, ask your questions. Thank you so much, first of all, for tuning in this morning. We know the hour is early, but yet we still held our audience, and that's pretty good that's for this good. early time, for the early time in the day. So yeah. let us know how we can help you. Jackie says, Amen. 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 God heal us. He says, I am the Lord. There's a beautiful song. I can't play it because, of course, we're on YouTube and there are copyright issues. But it says, I am the God that healeth thee. I am the God that healeth Oh, it's such a beautiful song. When you have time, you could go and listen to that song. I know that God heals. Because when I tell you I have had some health issues, I've had health issues. Borderline diabetic, 220 pounds, high blood pressure, all these issues. And God heals he heals Amen. so you know i just i just say to you claim those promises today you know there are so many people suffering from illnesses that can be avoided that can be prevented and can be reversed amen it reversed. can be that's the key that's the key it can be reversed you know so in the name of jesus we are just claiming the healing of jesus today michelle i don't know Ministry of Healing, page 127 says, disease is an effort of nature to free the system from conditions that results from a violation of the laws of health. In case of sickness, the cause should be ascertained. Unhelpful conditions should be changed. Wrong habits corrected. Then nature is to be assisted in efforts to expel impurities and to reestablish right conditions in the system pure air sunlight abstemiousness rest exercise 
proper diet, the use of water, and trust in divine power. These are the true remedies. Amen. But I encourage you to, Amen. you know, put these things in practice, trusting God, and he'll do the rest. Mm -hmm. He will. He, he will. will. Yes. He has promised, hasn't he? He has yeah. promised. He has promised. And so we just claim those promises. We just ask him to help us and to heal us. You know, once we just, you know, sometimes we just need to reach out to him and say, Lord, you promised in your word, you promised in yeah. your word, you know, just start regurgitating those promises back to him. You know, he says in, is in, um, sorry, one of my favorite texts that I like to use almost every day, it talks about the fact that, you know, he says, he won't put the diseases on us that he's put on the Egyptians because I am the God and I heal you. But he, it comes to us. These are promises that come, you know, there's a condition. We got to first listen. We got to be obedient. We got to hear his word. And then he says, I promise you, I'm not going to allow these diseases upon, upon you. I'm not going to allow them to come upon you because I'm the God that healed you. And if you do have them, guess what? He reversed them. Yes. He has promised. Okay. <laughs> Happy Sabbath, my, my health ministry uh, director. Nice. Dr. Naflin, how you doing, darling? How you doing? Happy Sabbath. Happy Sabbath. Um, thank you so much for joining us. And then we have uh, Grace. Grace. Grace, I think. Grace. You, Melissa? I yeah. pray for you every day. You are so amazing. God bless you, sisters. Thank you very much. You pray for us every day. We need those prayers. <laughs> we need those prayers. Thank you so much. Um, so are there any questions? No questions? No concerns? You're still here. So let's talk. Come on. Let's wrap. We have a few moments we can stay with you. Nobody's there's no charge. Our TV station's free. <laughs> Our TV yeah. station is free. Oh, yes. tight yes. underwear. Yeah, we did mention yeah. tight underwear. Yes, yes. yes. Thank you, Oz mm -hmm. RB. Not mm -hmm. only tight pants, but the tight underwear. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then yeah. Marley, you never talk about the promiscuity too. Sleeping around and having how many baby mamas and all that. Mul mul multiple, <laughs> multiple baby mamas, baby mamas. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that, that's a very important factor because, you know, here in my country, listen to me, listen to me. We got these guys who go around from woman to woman to woman. They have one for every night, you know, not realizing the harm. So excessive. We talked about excessive, but we didn't call it that. You know, life is about balance. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. It's about balance. It's about balance. We have to be balanced. We have to be balanced not only in, you know, some of us we're so we're so organized when it comes to this and the next, but when it comes to the women, we are we have no self control. We have no self control, I and we you. need to have some self control, guys. We need that self control. So I'm just pleading with you: have one partner. Mm. Find one and marry that one and stay yeah. with that one until yeah. death do you part. Yeah. Do one. Just find one. You know, Too because that, you know, you've, even in the marriage bed, there could be excessive though, Michelle. Even in the marriage bed, there can be excessive. I know that we have um I have a friend and I, I won't call his name, but he'll say, Listen, <laughs> there's nothing wrong with having that every night. And I hate when my wife have a period. But that lady, that's why God put it in place. Oh. To protect that poor lady, she'd be dying, dying, you know. So even with the marriage bed, there is excess. We need to be mindful of that, okay? Mindful of that. Um, how do you get the PowerPoint? Um, you can WhatsApp us or you can email us, right? I'll put our email address up now. I'll put mine and Michelle yeah. can add hers. Um, then this is Anafin says, I'm fine, sister. Blessings to you and your co-hosts. Yes. Aww. Praise God. Thank you so much for joining us today, thank Sister Laughlin. Thank you. Thank you. That's my sister. My sister, I tell you, she's praying for me all the time. Her and her beautiful family, Ozzy, and my favorite girl, Shante. <laughs> all right. Yes, go ahead. Just Google how much zinc is lost through ejaculation. And what came up was the amount of zinc in semen is such that one ejaculation may rid of all the zinc that can be absorbed from the intestines in one day. What? So, yeah. <laughs> but hold on. Let's talk about the let's talk about the side effects of zinc so of being zinc deficient, and that's good for your immune system and your immune function. For virus, you need that zinc. So this yeah. is deep. 
Brain um, functioning. Uh, brain functioning too. Don't miss the brain function. Yeah. yeah. It's effects of dietary zinc depletion. Hold on. on. But that's not just, that's not that's just, hold on, hold on. Research. That's this not just research. ejaculation, Michelle, for having sex, but that's when you masturbate also. That's true. Anything, yeah. Yeah, that's true. That's deep. That yeah. needs to be done. I, I, I need to do some study on it. And mm. I'm looking at a research paper, but that needs to be studied because it's yeah. saying that it depletes. In one ejaculation, it depletes the body of the zinc. That's deep. And what are the side effects? I'm going to pick up quickly. You know, I like to talk to my husband, <laughs> Google. Side effects of zinc uh, low zinc. Let's, let's look at them. Let's look at them very quickly. You know, technology is right in your hands, people. There's no need for us to have any reason why we don't know. Side effects or common effects associated with zinc deficiency, a weak immune system. What's one of the main um, supplements we've been taking for COVID? Zinc. Okay. Exactly. A weak right. immune system, delayed wound healing, diarrhea, frequent symptoms of common cold, vision problems due to an increased risk of oh. age-related macular. Oh. <laughs> Listen, hold on. Listen, Listen. Go go on. Go you guys, hold on. Y'all gotta follow me. Follow yeah, me. Go back. Go Here's back. The story. Go. We gotta go back because earlier in the program, earlier in the program, this is beautiful. Oh, this is beautiful. Man. Earlier in the program, I said to, to the group, I said, listen, according to one of my favorite authors and inspiration, she says that when we masturbate or self-abuse, it leads to blindness. <laughs> blindness. Listen, what did I just read? What did I just read? Vision problems due to an increased risk of age-related macular degeneration. Wow. Zinc. We just said we need to do a study on it. Skin yeah. ulcers, skin rash, especially around the mouth. People, 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 people. <laughs> when I tell you, my God, don't play. I Amen. just don't you just love the Lord. I just love the Lord. That that that's that that. He said, I'm not going to let you end this program today. And no, don't share the information. Stop mm. masturbating. We people. have to thank God. We have to give God. That's so powerful. Stop it stop it stop doing the excessive sexual activities my girl says listen my 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 my, my health director says this what she said let's go back she said um hold on let's show it one husband one wife everything in balance everything one husband balance. one wife everything. everything in balance we are so out of harmony not only with our bodies we're out of harmony with god God, God is calling for us to be in harmony with him. Balance. Mm. Yes. That word, balance. 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 I love you guys. Y'all don't even know. Y'all don't <laughs> even know. Listen, God has a message for us. Tried and proven. They're the eight doctors. Proper nutrition. Exercise. Water. water sunlight. Fresh air. Rest. What's the other one? Temperance. Huh? Temperance. 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 And trust in divine part. I, I have them all mixed up. New start. All right. <laughs> New start. There are eight free doctors. Incorporate them into your life today. In Amen. balance. In balance. Thank you so much for weighing in today on our topic. Shima, I don't want to miss that sort of comment. She said, Edward, to other Christians. I love healthy yourself and something better. Prostate um, is seriously a problem today. So thank you so much. Shima? Then Edward says, is healthy, is it healthy to eat carbohydrate foods Not after five? Oh, yeah, to eat. Oh, okay. After five, Edward? <laughs> well, I don't have it this morning. I know it's late in Africa. You're in Sierra Leone, right? That's my Edward. Yeah, no. Yeah. It's too late, Edward. You're going to bed soon. Go to bed on, and your stomach should be empty, basically, when you go to bed, right? Because your body wants rest. Yeah. Rest, rest, and more rest. It's rest, better. rest. It will sure. it's anti-aging too. You practice it, Edward, and see you, you you'll it'll it'll be anti-aging for you. Amen. I'm getting off sleep. Hey, Kino, powerful. Hold on. Hi, my girl IT, Miss Kelly. Kelly's oh, in the wow, house. She's here. Kelly's here. She's here. Oh, so, that's a good question. Kino. That's a question. Kino. Kino's my cousin. That's my oh, cousin. Okay. Nice. My cousin. What are your thoughts on seeing oh, my melon cuz? 
Mm. No good. It's seedless. Seedless. <laughs> How can it reproduce? Hold on, hold on. A seedless worm in a game will reproduce. It can't reproduce. <laughs> Everything. No. <laughs> remember, no. remember the fig tree. It was not bearing fruit. It was a repro It can't reproduce. It's good for nothing. It's good for nothing. Wow. For nothing. That's deep, Michelle. It's good for nothing. <laughs> in the Bahamas, <laughs> in the Bahamas, as a saying, you're good for nothing. <laughs> For my, mother, my mother, if she were mad at us, she said, you ain't good for nothing. You yeah. know, she would mad at us. That's what she would say. That's just a saying. But that fruit is good for nothing. Wow. Life is about giving and yes. life is about sharing. If that yes. fruit, you're going to eat it one time and that's it. No, it can't. You can't save the seed. You can't plant it so you can have it next. Mm -mm. Seedless. Mm -mm. Uh, mm -mm. Seedless grapes, seedless, mm -mm. all these seedless stuff. No good. Yeah. Mm -mm. You can't re they can't reproduce. No, they're more sir. convenience and comfort. People don't want to be bothered with the, the seeds. Yeah, the seeds. Even, the seeds in, even in the grapes, even in the grapes. You know, one morning the young man said he could eat a whole pack of grapes. I said, now you have seeds. <laughs> You'll be so annoyed. <laughs> It'll be so, so annoying. Marley, there's so much nutrients in the seeds. Yes. Grape seed, the grape yes. seed oil extract is potent. Also, very good for viruses. Also, the watermelon seed, high, good for the heart. It has nitric acid. So, you know, nitric oxide, very good for opening up that those arteries. So mm -hmm. if people just know that the benefits are also in the seeds, you could also take a seed, roast it, and include it in your diet. When you're eating the grapes, eat a little grapes. The watermelon you can roast, or you can use it to make pesto. There's just so many things you can do with the seeds and get the benefits and of course you can plant so yeah seeds definitely amen amen i'm just going to quickly go to our facebook page because you know i keep forgetting oh, that no, person, keep forgetting. Yeah. persons are asking questions and commenting on our facebook page so let me just go there very quickly thank you kino for sharing our video with um uh, your audience awesome god is good let me see if there are any other comments i'm looking to see if there are any other comments that we have missed this morning Thank you very much, Bernal, and all the others who are liking our video today. Um, listen. Thank you. God is a God of, he's a God of, uh, I like to use the word, he's amazing. Amazing. He's, 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 he's a promise keeper. True. He never changes. He never breaks his promise. He never changes. Never change. So <laughs> I know that many of us may be struggling with other health issues. It yeah. may not be prostate issues that you're struggling with today. Whatever your issue, God heals. Man. God heals. I can tell you because I've been down that road. Okay? And every day, every day, we keep trying, trying, striving towards getting better and healthier and healthier and healthier. So join our program. We have a program every morning. We exercise together. We, um, we have health lectures. And so you can become a part of that wellness uh, lifestyle, virtual lifestyle program, you know, where you can learn more about your health. If you'd like to be a part of that, if you'd like to learn more about it, you can WhatsApp or you can email us. I promised I was going to put our email address up there. I um, forgot. There we go. I'm going to put my own. It's Marlene underscore McKinney at live.com. I'm putting my email. Michelle is adding hers. Healthier steps. Healthier steps. Okay, it's Marlene underscore McKinney at live.com. So let me just show it quickly so that you can email me for the file if you would like to have the file of today's program. Um, oh, no, I said the wrong one. I said the wrong one. That's okay. Let's do it again. Healthy Healthy steps at Gmail. Did you do it, Marlene? LDS steps at Gmail. Oh, okay. Hold on. Hold on. Let me just copy and paste it quickly. No, it's no, fine. I had it wrong. I didn't put the. I type too fast. Healthier steps at gmail.com. Gmail.com. I hope I spelled it right. There we go. <laughs> All right. So we're happy that you chose to join us today. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for you. Uh, being a part of our extended family. You know, you're a part of our extended family. Each Saturday morning, we come to you with yeah. health presentations, Lifestyle 360. We haven't decided yet what next week's program <laughs> will be. But if you do have a problem or a situation you'd like us to discuss, we'd be more than happy to have you share it with us. And then we will put together the program and we'll bring it out to you. That's why we're here. I've been doing this 23 years. 
And I couldn't think of my life being any other than to do what I'm doing today. Um, God brought me back home to help my people. I believe that. I really do. So I'm here in Nassau and I'm just having fun. <laughs> my brother Paul, I'm having fun, man. I don't know about you, but I'm having fun. I'm having fun. I'm having a lot of fun sharing, sharing, sharing. And that's what God created us for, to share. Yeah. So God bless you. Happy Sabbath again. Michelle will give our closing thoughts and uh, then we will say bye for now. Yes. I'm so excited and thankful for the day that Marlene decided to go live and I said, I'll join you. <laughs> it's been such a blessing and such a pleasure. And um, it's just good to be knowing that we are helping and we just love you, love our audiences, every one of you. You're special to us. Your names, we're remembering your names. And we continue to thank you for sharing our lives and we will see you. I also, I'm now eating this way for 24 years. And so I've been on this same journey for a long while, I would say so. Most of the things that we're sharing, they're actually things that we've experienced in our life. We've seen the miracles through healing, the natural way. And we've seen both sides. Like for me, I'm a registered nurse, so I've seen both sides. Mm -hmm. So I'm on the preventative side now, and I love it. Prevention, prevention is better than cure. Amen. So, blessings to you. Don't and forget Monday. 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 Oh, yeah. Don't forget Monday. Join us for Inspirational Monday. Thank you. At 6 p.m. Yeah. <laughs> our, our, our guest this week, we'll talk Very about nice. her, how yeah. she lived, she survived cancer 20 plus years ago. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So don't at miss that. it. Don't miss it. Very oh. important topic. And um, we all need to come and listen because we all have cancer cells in our bodies lurking. So yeah. come and learn how she, how God healed her, how God healed her. So bye for now and happy Sabbath. Enjoy the Sabbath hours and just get some rest. Amen. I will be coming back um, on live at 11. I will be presenting the word of God for an international prayer group. So if you don't have anywhere else to go at 11 o'clock, I will use both platforms. I'm going to use my platform along with theirs and I'll go live so that somebody else can be blessed by today's word coming to us. I'll be sharing a lot of my testimony along the way, but the topic today, I will go. Will hey, you go? Man. <laughs> so bye for now. God bless you all. Love you. Love you. Bye.